have. And here we are. We back. I'm back. Check the audio. Check the audio. I checked the audio already. It, it should be golden. I feel like it's mandatory now. I have to say it. Check it. <laughs> check it. Yeah. Always check, check the, the audio. audio just to be safe. I can just I imagine that one guy. Mess with the audio Bro, you at least one once in the during chamber. every stream. <laughs> want to make people oh, feel okay. truly interactive. Anyway, welcome to episode 25 of the uh, Beyond Pixels podcast. Hello, Strange Yay. Dragon. Welcome. Strange Dragon, you found me. Ayo. Hello. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> we've, uh, where is my we don't choice? have any specific topic today. Uh, today is an open platform. Uh, chat can give us ideas or ask questions and talk about whatever. Um, anyone here can throw ideas. We can talk about the future of the podcast, other ideas for other shows we might want to start doing. Anything like that. I I'm open was dancing to... the entire time. <laughs> I yeah, wasn't gonna say shit. Open, I'll be honest. I was just like, for like, anything. like, how long is it gonna, how long is it gonna take like, for him to notice? So I, I want to <laughs> start out with one thing here. I've got this idea. Um, it's something I used to do way, way, way back in 2018. Um, it was short skits in VR chat, right? It, it had like this little storyline, and I just made it up as we went. Wrote up like a yeah. basic script idea for it, and did that. I want to start doing stuff like that again, but I need. And I need like three or four people that are up to help and be the characters in the skits and help me come up with ideas for it. I can definitely help you buddy up with, uh, I guess, a few people I know that do skits as well. Um, so yeah. the Slippery, uh, there's a couple others out there that you see mostly on TikTok and stuff like that. Um, of course, D every now and then, but yeah, I, I think Soap does a lot more there than, than he does. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I want to do like just just shorts, like two, three minute things, not anything massively long. Two, three minutes I is a lot can. sometimes. <laughs> two, three minutes is a oh. lot sometimes. I mean, we can we can record like an hour's worth of stuff one day and I can just make the three, two or three minute things for it. Um, but I have to actually figure out how to edit nicely for that to really work out. So that's going to be fun, too. <laughs> You know, it kind of reminds me of uh, back uh, Wrestle, Wrestle, two th back in 2005, WrestleMania, WrestleMania 21. Uh, what they did for that to to because it was going to be in Hollywood. Uh, so what every all the superstars did was they did scenes from various movies, like they did uh, Pulp Fiction, they did uh, A Few Good Men, they did Dirty Harry. Undertaker did Dirty Harry. You can actually find that clip on YouTube. <laughs> Um, but I think for me, my favorite one was Eddie Guerrero and Booker T, uh, in Pulp, in the Pulp Fiction, uh, deal. Hmm. See, uh, yeah. Circuitry, do you, uh, you remember there being a whole bunch of handcuffs at the, uh, TwitchCon house? Yeah, I remember that one. Do you know why there were a bunch of handcuffs? I'm pretty sure there was, like, ever... an escape challenge. Well, yeah, but and that's think... not why the handcuffs were there. Oh, that was caused by the handcuffs being there, and that was me being like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna throw some money to have some fun here. Let's let's have some fun." Uh, but no, the the handcuffs were there because of the skits that I did back in 2018. Um, Soy Boy was in them, and he was like the judge. And the the whole idea with the skits was like me doing something that's just a little weird, and him always coming up and saying, "You're going to jail for this." <laughs> and then a bunch of penguins broke me out of jail. It, that was fun. <laughs> I just remember was, we had. A, we, no. I just remember we had a few people but, hammered, and we had to use the handcuffs to keep them from hurting themselves yeah. or something, like falling down but the stairs he, or some shit like that. He bought ten pairs of handcuffs and brought one for, from him, himself. So there were eleven pairs in total. Um, he bought the ten pairs had them shipped to me so that I could take them to TwitchCon. And it was all because it, it, the, the first minute I met Soy Boy in person, he fucking slaps handcuffs on me and drops the key on the ground. Says, have fun. 
<laughs> it's fucking great. Uh, but yeah, that, that was a big joke caused entirely by the old skits that I did. And I mean, they were super low quality, but they were just random little things. Nice. I think those won't work on I think me. next time. I think, I think next time you should buy like 30 rolls of duct tape and see what happens. <laughs> oh duct tape might work God. on me. Nah, I'm serious. I'm expecting at least one person to tape someone's fists shut and so they can't open doors and they can't, like, you know, do shit with their fingers. All you have Eddie, to do that is immobilize the fingers. Are Why are you licking my foot? Uh-oh. Dogs are into it now. <laughs> you know, I don't know oh my God. context, that sounds pretty bad. <laughs> you know, I, I did have an idea for a topic. Um... This past weekend has been crazy for those who know about the topic, and I'm not going to go into the heat of it if, if you do. It has been a big one this weekend. But how much of reality, thing that happened in the outside, reflect inside of VR chat? Kind of a big scope, big mental thing on there, but there's so many times there's an event that happens. We have the election that's coming up, and then there was like something for the last time. Like I remember for, you know, four years ago. Um, this, this, how does uh, reality reflect into VR chat? I mean, the people clearly. I mean, I have an answer for that. I... There's like, if you think about, like, I would say, and this has happened to me IRL, but I would actually, in, in your peripheral vision, you think that you see someone standing there and there's actually nobody there. I actually, in VR, have confused various things for actual users at times. Because I, I feel like I would see a name tag. No, it's just like a little sign to a restaurant or something like that in the, in the game. And so it's just like, just, uh, just small little moments like if, that would probably actually get me thinking. It's just like, okay, how is this, how, how am I translate? how am I translating that between the two imagine realities? Getting that, get, imagine seeing, imagine getting that same feeling in reality. Like you're, you know, you think you see an avatar's name tag as you're like going to, I don't know, walmart or something wouldn't that just kind of flip your your your, your lid just a little bit like you know m maybe the um the uh you know maybe reality is starting to blend in a little too much <laughs> yeah. so our virtual reality is blending it too much i know you ever go to a concert and confuse uh some weird stranger wearing the exact same outfit for a dead person that you actually know happened to me what Wow, that sounds eerie as fuck. But but no, I, I haven't had that experience. It happened to me. Hopefully not. I don't go out enough to even just have that experience. I, I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I've never <laughs> never really had anything like that. Um, although I have had something similar. Um, I uh, I know exactly where I was too. I was on. Uh, I was at the Wendy's. I think it is. On, in Mount Eagle, Tennessee. Uh, it's up on top of a mountain. Um, I was driving truck at the time, so I, I was going all through that area all the time. But um, I stopped there for my night, you know, go in, have some food. And I saw this guy that looked just like my grandpa that uh, passed away in like 2007. Hey, how you doing? And I just sat there and hey, was like, I had trouble finding fuck. my tracker, so that's part of why I ran so late. <laughs> Oh, no worries. We're all chilling. That was, uh, you know, that, that's the only real thing I've seen of, like, seeing someone that looks just like someone that's no longer there. So, Stealth, you uh, hmm. interested in assisting in making skits again, like I did back in 2018? Maybe? Time to see if I'd have a lot of time for it. I mean, it'd be like a one or two hour recording session once every week or two. Turtle, you saw how much was uh, how much of a pain in the ass it was to bring me to get here. <laughs> <laughs> I had to literally drive five miles to a different city, grab two people, and then drive another five miles back without speeding or dying. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. At least you put God, speeding still. there, but I was worried of the fact that you put it on before dying. I would like dying before the speeding. I would rather <laughs> die still. before owing my state money. <laughs> yeah, so you, you, you remember the handcuffs at TwitchCon, right? I 
do. And and you knew why there were ten pairs of handcuffs in the house? No, actually, no, I don't know. That was because of the skits. Uh, because of Soy Boy arresting me in the skits. He was like, fuck it, here, have some handcuffs. <laughs> fucking... That suddenly makes a lot more sense now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much no one else in the house actually knew why there were ten pairs of handcuffs. They were just like, what the fuck is going on with Turtle? <laughs> Only the people involved. Yeah. I, I would have, I would have, honestly, I would have just boiled it down to two words. It's VR chat. I mean, what, what, <laughs> what else should I expect? That is unfortunately uh, a fair point. Wait, have we I done, done easily well, easily um, No, we have done while the stories before VR chat. I'm I will pretty ask, sure. Yeah, we have. I do have a question yeah. for all of you, actually, because it relates to something I just uh, talked about. But uh, have you ever found your double IRL? Like you're like it's you, but it's like either. All right. Uh, let's say I'm American, but I actually found uh, someone who looks just like me in Puerto Rico. A friend of mine sent I'm... me a picture of me as a Puerto Rican guy. And he's that real. I, I have for my a... wife. Apparently, she's found three people that look like me. But she's I mean, I have, I've, I've if found you know what I look like, double. it's Jesus. <laughs> Do you realize Jesus Fair. had neon green <laughs> fucking hair? Nice critical with a longer beard. No, I have, I have legitimately walked down the road and someone's like, "Hey, you look like no Jesus." Florida man. <laughs> I was in fucking oh. Mexico. Or not, I was, I wasn't in Mexico. I was in Texas, like a mile from the Mexican border, right? at a Mexican restaurant and gas station. And this guy walks up behind me with two fucking one liter glass bottles of Coke and just says, hey, you look like Jesus. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. Like having a Mexican guy say, call me Jesus was the highlight of that month. Um, then he looks at my shoes and say, hey, you walk on water in those shoes? And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> That was the wildest <laughs> fucking close to Mexico experience I've had. You should just experience this, just like walking around like like in all white and just wearing sandals, and just see how if see if you can get that to reoccur more often. <laughs> just... Oh my god! <laughs> okay, you know what? If someone donates the money or orders it for me, um, a fucking Jesus outfit, I will wear it around town and record that shit. <laughs> okay, and, and you can find it. Like I'm looking at this up and see how, how, how can we get a Jesus costume? Oh, there's so many. All I typed in was Jesus. Dude. They knew I was looking for this. <laughs> it's meant to be. Why is that the most surprising thing rope. you found? This, oh my god! There, and, and I Just, there's 150 I results will. on this. Is the first page. I Damn. will not drill a hole in my hands, though. Do you willingly dress like Jesus? You know... I was gonna say, no, yeah, I don't know anyone like that. But, I don't know but, if you've been like, to Fiverr. I imagine there's a lot. I keep a very I nice I don't know if crowd. you've been on Fiverr, bro, but Wholesome uh, crowd. that guy does a really good fucking Jesus. Eddie, that is my foot! Let's just say I'm wondering if actually, uh, if I could go to YouTube photo, and find a channel called like Christ Vlogs. Six kids. Where this oh, guy dresses up, like up as Jesus. Fake beards and all. Oh my god. <laughs> just like, There's so many In the name of my father, I subscribe and leave a like. There's one guy that legally changed his name I'm to just Jesus Christ. Miniature Jesus is just standing in front of <laughs> London. Yeah. That's the, I think that's the fiber guy. Mini Jesus. He legally changed Bruh. his name. Bro, the only person, the only weird name I ever heard anyone change their name to was War Machine. And it was a wrestler, I think. Oh, my God. There's a guy that changed his name to literally anybody else, and he's running for fucking president. Hold on. You know? He legally changed what? his that, name to literally <laughs> on. anybody else. Hold on. I, I, I am verifying this claim. <laughs> we're looking at this up. Well, I was going to say, if we're Charles talking class president, I'll believe it. Some... in politics that much. No. Like, actual U.S. president. Like he's running independently? Yes. Yeah. The, yeah. I th I'm pretty uh, sure. Also, did, I think Robert... did you know that Afro Man is running for president? <laughs> really? I mean, at this oh, point, Kanye said he was running for president. Everything. God. <laughs> I mean, his Blaze platform. America, let's go. <laughs> so th th this is th th 
When it comes to politics on this podcast, I will talk fact, and that's it. Who's running and what their their like ideas are. Afro Man wants to um, do the reparations thing. He wants to um, legalize <laughs> weed. Of obviously, course this man's in fucking Texas. <laughs> 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 I, I dare to respawn. <laughs> Fuck off, menu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, I was I was not lying, was I? <laughs> Literally, no. anybody else is running for president. I, well, yeah, I'm pretty I, sure yeah, he's not running. Guy to be from Florida. I was gonna say there there is a Texan that I am rooting for. Uh, he's not running for president, but he is running for Congress uh, in his di district. I know exactly uh, what you're talking about. What's this Brandon I heard about reparations and bullshit? Yep. Yes. AK guy. Yes, hey, I am happy. all for that man. Hi, District baby. 23, oh, yeah. Brandon Herrera, 2024. Yes, I want that man to win. I fucking he love is a AK guy. I love the, you know, the AK guy. I just love his gun If I see his name, I'm voting for him too. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, District 23 runs from like El Paso, Texas, all the way to San Antonio. It's like one of the biggest districts in, Tex in Southern Texas. It's like right on the border. Like over by Eagle Pass. So well, he, he, Florida, uh, if I remember right, um, vote illegally before. He, so if I see his name, so, I may make it happen. So, um, Brandon Herrera, <laughs> uh, he actually got what, like forty percent of the votes or something, um, and got, and the other guy that he's running against got like forty percent of the votes in the no, primaries no. or whatever the fuck it's called. So, so the way he that got it works, at that least he's in... still in. Yeah, the way that it works is that um, since. Uh, uh, the the main candidate, which is right now, I think Tony Gonzalez is his name. Uh, he he. In order for you to win the primary, you have to get fifty percent of the vote. He got forty four percent, whereas Brandon Herrera got thirteen thousand votes, and he was able to prevent the fifty percent. So he, him, and Tony are going on a runoff, and yep. that should happen yeah, later this month, I believe. So mm -hmm. that's how he was able to like be. He's gonna make the guy sweat. He's absolutely gonna make the guy sweat. So now it's between those two, and that's it. Yes, it's between those two, and that's it. That is interesting. Which is actually a huge fucking win. Um, that is a huge fucking win, yes. And this is, like, actually an important thing for everyone in the U.S., not just Texans, in the end. No, yeah, because exactly, because, I, I mean... If yeah. you like guns, if you like the Second Amendment, if you like the fucking Constitution in general... He's a good guy. If you like the freedoms he's, you have. He's fucking awesome. Yeah. Literally all you had to say in Texas so, oh my is God. you like guns. Let's talk about <laughs> this. The TikTok ban. God. Oh. Has that happened yet? I we can understand are touching it. On... Uh, yes, yeah, no, Biden is already signed. Right now. So Biden already yeah, signed. Biden signed off on it. Um, TikTok is, is it. suing back to, to try to get it shut down. Um... But they basically have one year from now to either sell or get banned in the U.S. Um, my stance on that whole thing is if TikTok gets banned without having any legitimate, actual, concrete evidence that they are doing things against the American people or spying on the American people as a Chin as the Chinese government doing it, <coughs> oh, me. if they don't have any concrete oh, evidence of any wrongdoings... And TikTok gets banned, and it is setting a very fucking horrible precedence um, that will allow any app that is not owned by an American company to get banned in the U.S. simply because the government doesn't like what they're doing. That and that I in turn would block us from international totally news happening, and external views. I, I can fully agree with yeah. that. I mean, the thing I would want to see Facebook, is the banning of collecting of information via Though to be fair, apps. nothing of value would be lost there. That was one so thing I was going to bring up. When you <laughs> when you sign up for an app and you use an app on your phone, whether it's an iOS or an Android, you grant that app certain permissions, and the operating system of your phone locks it so that app can only do certain things that you have specifically granted to it. Like, um, if you have a messaging app, obviously you have to grant it access to your text messages, your contacts, things like that. If you're using TikTok, you're granting it access to your videos and files. Every app does that. TikTok okay, also so... like gets your location, things like that. Okay, so Turtle, I, okay. I do have a question for you specifically. I have a question for you specifically because I, I actually want to know if platform matters here. Um, 
So recently, I can actually name three countries that you cannot use the app that I use uh, to stream, which is Rumble. And that is Russia. You cannot use it in Brazil. And you cannot use it in France. Those three countries and have permanently banned it because they refuse to censor information. They, governments want to control the actual sense of information that's actually going out. Ooh, and they want Rumble well, to do like it. Rumble the told them to go fuck themselves. And... They got banned in those countries. Do you think that ban is actually, like, if we're going to talk about banning TikTok for collecting information but not banning content, you know, do you, what I would say is between the two greater of evils, which one would you say was actually more con uh, more right? Neither. Neither of them are right. Banning any sort of information from the general population is not a good thing. Um, and okay. banning... Banning an app or a website in general just is a bad fucking thing unless it is doing illegal things. If Rumble is having and hosting things that are illegal in that country and refusing to block that illegal information or illegal streams in that country, like let's say that country doesn't allow kids under 18 or anyone under 18 to stream themselves online and that country or uh, and Rumble refuses to ban or to block streams that contain people under the age of 18 in that country then that country is fully in its right to ban that service well that's not uh, the reason that if, the ban took okay. place uh, uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I get that i get that but i'm just saying that's the only time that i agree that a country should ban something if if that service is breaking laws in that country and refuses well, to do something about it so the reason I bring that up is because those those three countries are banning Rumble because they refuse to follow government guidelines and censorship policies. Whereas America okay. is banning uh, TikTok. Well, America is banning TikTok because they are a threat to national security because they can collect user information and but that is user it really? information. Imagine imagine if it collected uh, government uh, official information. If you just one day ran okay. for Congress yourself. And you actually had yeah. your information so, already in the system. Think about that. That's the thing. That's that's the thing. Um, the U.S. government can ban and should ban um, service members like military, Congress, government employees from using those apps. That is that entirely acceptable and understandable. And that's been that's been a thing. There are certain apps that track locations that are completely not allowed if you are a U.S. government official or in the military because they were tracking information like there was one that was tracking exercises and things and it gave away a secret Mr. base location um David. but so <laughs> tiktok for the general population is it actually a security oh threat real quick i don't think my sensors are picking me up Probably i don't not. believe it is well like i said i said uh, all right right now you're a civilian you would technically be qualified as a civilian not a political official not affiliated with government right so imagine yep. if, like, let's say 10 years down the line, you want to run for governor of your state and you win that election. Guess what? You're no longer a citizen anymore. You are now officially a part of the political system. So now you delete the so, app. Yeah, but at the same time, they still collected your information. They still collected your information. But did they collect any government sensitive data? No, they couldn't have because they didn't have access to it. They had access to data about you before you got into the government. Now that you're in the government, they don't have access to that data if you delete and remove the app and don't use it. All right, so I'd like it, to put a few so things So the, the whole reason TikTok is being banned is national security, right? That's what they're claiming. That's what they're saying. How and how is it actually a national security threat for the general I, population to have their locations Titan and their Jr. videos? That I have an posted? answer for that, one turtle. Titan has so, the answer. It, so. Okay. Titan, uh, Titan has been typing in chat about this for a while. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, on. yeah, yeah. I, how well, you doing, what Titan says is China we're talking about. What, what, yes, I, mean, I get that, have, but it's not actually China. Intentions. It's... And... So, I mean, I don't they, like TikTok because of it, everything that's on yeah, it, and yeah. all the stupid shit that happens. But, again, banning it... Finish? Because of the content posted on it, and that shit is stupid. And if we ban that, well, we better ban YouTube Shorts too, let, because it's the let, same let, fucking let, thing. Let, let, let me, let me, 
let me finish. Yeah, let if me I may. So, so, he, what Titan so, was shaping out. Uh, okay, okay, I'll let you finish. That China is deliberately controlling You're not gonna get the algorithm. Just want to eat now. I, I, I know. <laughs> I know. For the I next generation. No. I don't want to talk about this no. anymore. No. <laughs> um, it's not. And there is no proof of that either. Ooh. That is a generalization. Everyone thinks that way. But is there okay, proof well, of it? Is there a I'm way to prove that? There is not. I'm still wait, 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 trees, wait, 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 we're missing, we're missing, things. we're not even talking about the, the BBL that. situation. Anyways, circuitry, the thing about Rumble being banned in those three countries, there's something they don't have that we do in America. Oh, I had a joke lined up, it didn't work. Yeah, the First Amendment. <laughs> Sorry, David. Freedom yes, of speech. But, no. <laughs> you know what, the First Amendment only, is only against the government and the citizens. Companies can block whatever they want. Yeah. But and again, as I said before, if, to if a website American is guidelines. not, yeah, yes, I get that. But they could also choose to abide by the laws of the countries that they want to be usable in and block certain things in those countries. Like I gave the example of people under 18. They could choose to do that, but they choose to not for the presidents of America, whatever. You know, that's fine. That's their choice. That's great. But it's still, it's, that's, that's the only time that I still believe an app should be banned. Is TikTok really collecting any information that is different than Facebook, Twitter, um, YouTube? Is it collecting information that's different than any of those? It's not. Facebook probably collects more sensitive information. It, they all collect <laughs> similar information. None of it's better than the other. They're, they're all shitty, and they all collect information about the users. But the whole thing is, oh, China government owns 1% of the parent company of TikTok, and that's the whole thing on why everyone wants to ban TikTok. But people aren't actually wanting to ban TikTok because of that. They're wanting to ban TikTok because kids are spending too much time and learning stupid things on TikTok, which happens on other platforms too and if they ban tiktok it's all just going to shift over to like youtube shorts instagram reels things like that so that's not going to change it's solely solely the china chinese government allegedly gathering information about people and uh, i will have yeah, to it's... agree that uh unfortunately tiktok's one of the things where you don't learn a thing on it it's all entertainment at least on YouTube, there's the chance of them stumbling. Have you gone through YouTube Shorts? Learn. You no no. Oh, you're you're I've wrong. I've actually, actually learned a few different um, facts YouTube, through YouTube Shorts. YouTube so. Shorts. Did you know um, uh, a very very large majority of YouTube Shorts are direct rips from TikTok, or reposts from TikTok? Hmm. YouTube Shorts is basically TikTok at this point. There's some different don't things like on it. Shorts in the first place. I mean, it's it's I good. Mean, uh, it's I, a good time it, waster when you got nothing to do. Well, I, I can understand it as a like marketing for sh the shorts, like a small clip of video here or there. That would be understandable. But oh, so Titan, videos on um, own, no. The um, the, the the adult content on TikTok, it's not allowed, and it gets banned and blocked, just like it gets banned and blocked on YouTube. But it is out there. Actually, there's more on YouTube. It, it, I saw Boots today the on arguments, YouTube. The arguments about certain types of content being on one platform see, versus another every day. just completely out the fucking window because it's it's everywhere. It's on every different <laughs> platform. So, again, yeah, the only difference between TikTok and any of the other platforms that, no, we would never ban them, is just that 1% own ownership of the parent company being owned by the Chinese government. That's it. That's the only part that everyone's like, oh, Chinese government must have all the user data. Which, do you think people that buy stocks in a company, who then own a portion of the company, have any access more than a regular person to the user data? No. No, they don't. I'm dying to add the fact that X, or sorry, Twitter owns Vine. And they're looking at open that on topics. <laughs> See, the bad part. If Vine comes back, though, if, if Elon Musk decides to bring back Vine, it's going to be just another platform exactly like 
TikTok, exactly like YouTube Shorts. It's all going to have the same stuff and the same issues in the end. Well, the here's the only here's my difference question. with TikTok is that it's the... owned partly by the Chinese government. That's it. Well, yeah, so it would probably open up, you know, fill that vacuum because it would make a business reason. I don't think that not only would Vine probably come back, but something else to comp compete against it, too. TikTok has been for a short period of time the number one video, you know, running platform. You can bet your, you know, anything you got on you that there will be something to fill that vacuum and quick, fast and in a hurry. So if Elon brings that back. But... It'd probably be a lot yeah, safer think, for the American people and their it, How, how is it any different? The, the, the difference unless, is there would be no you actually, connection to China. Okay, but then you and should China not be using your phone because I guarantee your phone is built in China. How do you know that there's not something in your phone sending all your information oh, straight oh, back I, to China? I, 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 I they we they need have to ban stopped all some Chinese phones products that now. were created too. Wa yeah, Huawei, well, if you look into. Huawei phones were stopped for that it, same reason. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was that made them stop. I thought it was Huawei was doing other things. It had nothing to do with Chinese affiliation. Uh, no, it was it was security risks. Uh, it was on Linus Tech Tips. A couple other people were talking about it. But yeah, security risk was the main reason that they were looking at it. They were afraid that they were getting people's information. Same thing that TikTok's being kind of accused of. It was happening before the whole TikTok banning situation came up. Yeah, I mean, no, not Samsung, again, though, a Huawei, different if, company. <laughs> if you look at any product that's made in China and is technological, what's the difference? What is the real difference anymore? Okay. I, I TikTok, you I know what data that. they have on people. You know exactly what data they have on people. You can watch that data flow from your phone, from the app, to TikTok. You can watch that you can sniff it people have sniffed it and there is no sign of government secrets going across that okay and i fully agree we should just cut off kind of from us completely at this point because we're opposite ends of the spectrum okay do you Bring want back. to be paying three thousand dollars for a phone instead of a thousand dollars for a phone because that's how you end up paying three thousand dollars for a phone I'm kind of already I mad at where you're coming from, but here's the thing. If we put proper tariffs on shit that were coming coming in. If you put of... if you no 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 no. If you put tariffs on products coming in, who gets to pay that? The American people pay that. Not the not the other government, not the other people sending That's it over. Nice. It just passes it straight down to the people buying the product. Okay, then what we it, should It do doesn't do benefit anyone. Is also, did you hear? We're going to be losing our tax cut soon. All across the board, tax cuts. Uh, the Trump tax cuts are going to fade out soon. And well, that happens all the time. Higher taxes. No, we're going to be going straight to higher taxes. Uh, we, none of us in here will be. No, 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 no. They're letting it fade out it means. They're all going away. Yes, all tax cuts Vampy, are going you, away. So Vampy, all of us are going to pay None of taxes. us have tax cuts worth more than a couple hundred dollars. None of us. So what am I going to on deaf ears? Think about it. We're, we're in. Unless you're going to be a millionaire, it's not going to affect you. <laughs> you know, okay, can we I move on? I'm begging you. I hear enough of this shit from my roommate. Let me finish. We are in inflation. Heavy inflation. Yeah, that's obvious. Things cost more now than recession. they did before. These tax cuts are the I'm only sorry, so. probably keeping several families up here. the end of it, aren't I? Vampy, again, the tax cuts do not affect 90% of people. They affect the top 10% of people that own businesses, own companies. I'm tax cuts aren't Finboy for the people. President. And you know what they'll also they do? Really it aren't. means people will start losing jobs because I want thongs for bussies. people who are up there will have to worry about paying more taxes. Because <laughs> usually they put their money this into is, more businesses. This is a whole big conversation that you have to know a hell of a lot more about and just being like, tax cuts affect everyone. They, no, tax cuts incentivize businesses to start up 
and that's 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 about it that's what tax cuts are for they are incentivizing businesses they are not incentivizing more jobs creating more jobs and actually offering more positions that's the purpose once you have the jobs the tax cuts don't necessarily need to be there once the company has been given that tax cut given the ability to expand (laughs) they no longer need that in the end there's not enough people to derail this conversation because now they're making more money so they don't need that tax break anymore but that's the that, that's <laughs> this is getting way too political and shit. I'm I'm off that topic. Yes, now. thank you. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's bring some shit show energy. <laughs> okay, how about this? No, I... the, uh, the the community manager for Helldivers Two getting fired. That's not political. Ooh, what? But I'll roll. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What's with... um the guy who's the getting... review bombing and refunding? No, I'm actually thinking Sony backing off He's and actually uh, bending the knee to the community. Democracy wins, people. Democracy <laughs> wins. Democracy wins. Yeah, wasn't Helldivers, <laughs> um, sacrifices made. Wasn't Sony requiring uh, a PlayStation Network PSN. account to continue using yep. it, yes. causing it to be they were banned it up in yes. sometime by the a end whole bunch of countries? Got canned a after all the negative countries. reviews flooded in. And because people PlayStation already Network had it is in those countries, in those couldn't countries. play it. Yeah. And so they started doing review yeah. their refunds. They review bombed it, and that was under the encouragement of a single community manager that has now been fired for it. Ooh, but here's the reason, reason, here, the best here's the reason why a lot of people were pissed it. off. Here's the reason why a what lot of people were pissed that. off about the PSN account was because there are sixty or seventy plus countries that that you are are not allowed to have a PlayStation Network account. So if you actually no, have no, the Hell Divers and you're a, yeah, it's something it's like that. Lot. It's insane. Like yeah. you know, yeah, I could, I could yeah, go that, through that's the list. The whole I'm not issue going to. We'd be here all day. Now, the 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 real problem is that Helldivers came out, and when they came out, they even said we will be requiring this. From from what I have heard, at least, no, no, they no, no, even no. said and knew that they will be requiring a PlayStation Network account in the future. And they were still selling to those countries. They should have not been selling to those countries if they had even a thought of no, they changed it. requiring it in the future. They changed it. It, it yeah. said you can link a PSN account, but it is not necessary. And they had disabled it at, this at time. the start. No, at the start when they released it. Yeah, okay. But again, from but what I read about the situation... But it was required. They changed their wording. From what they I pre- read about this, con- from contract, yes, let me let me say what I what I read about it, coming from multiple different sources and shit, that they initially they knew they were going to require it in the future. I don't know if they made that known or not, but they knew they were going to require it in the future. So the big problem is that they were selling it in countries that they were essentially going to ban from the game shortly after release they they already knew that they were going to require a playstation network account in the future so it's, it's just a scummy sony tactic is not, that is on sony it's a scummy tactic easy. to try to get extra money from countries and then ban it in those countries well yeah that's, because that's you do realize else. you have to pay you have to pay for a sony account like it's not free it's actually like something like 60 dollars now Sixty dollars annually, in order to actually um, utilize the, the, uh, the account is free. I, I, I but I utilizing use a features Sony on the PlayStation costs. But I've already had a Sony account, so like I didn't. I don't pay I for my. That's what account. I mean. Play yeah. the PSN yeah. account. The PSN account. Yeah. I think yeah, the, the account itself is free. It's yeah. The, I think they. The, had, I was paying because I was paying years ago. I was paying for PSN Plus. I think that's pl- uh, because you would yeah, get definitely. games. That's not monthly. required. Yeah. That, that's different. That's that's like having an Xbox and playing for Xbox Live. Yeah. Or, or, the God, gold, or whatever that is. It's the same thing. Oh, it's gone now? Yeah, they got rid of it. Now uh, you have the option of buying um, Game Pass. That's it. Ah. Uh, yeah. Right. That's good. Yeah. I never cared for Xboxes because to play online games, you had to pay a subscription. And that was just stupid. Yep. Yeah. I would sacrifice my allowance to play Halo 3 with my boys. <laughs> <laughs> Question, does World of Warcraft still do that? Yeah, they still yeah. have a monthly subscription. And I still play See, it. Oh, oh man, yeah. that's, that's another thing. See, games that you pay for, 
if I and ever then go to World of Warcraft, I gotta join. To pay well, I'm not sure what kind of guild you got going on, but uh, it's, I, I, I hate that payment. We do. I, oh, I hate that okay. payment if strategy or that in, game. I'm, I might link up with you guys. Sales strategy. I can agree with that. That is a shitty, shitty yeah. strategy. So I'm I'm fine with games costing up front and then being free for life and free for updates and then having like expansion packs. That's fine. I'm fine or... with games being being uh, costing up front and then having expansion packs. That's fine. But I am not okay with games costing up front and then costing just to have that core game continue to be usable. Not to mention the like DLC. The... The, the, the monthly subscription is good for a well, DLC is fine. A game that so for the whole fifteen bucks a month thing, I like that strategy because it's good if it's just that payment from the start. Like you start with a fifteen bucks. Yes, and you're that's what I just said. Bucks every month. That's yeah, but Vampy, because it allows Vampy. a game when you, to last longer. It's yes, Vampy. But you also have to understand games... that. The oh, World ahead. of Warcraft requires you to buy the game and pay monthly. You you do not own the game. You cannot download the game for free. You have to pay, what is it, like 60 bucks for the game itself and then pay oh, a fee every month to continue to use it. Actually, that, they're still doing that. That, that, that I, they they stopped doing, doing that now? Expansions now. Really? So once you buy the game, you can use the core game. Once you subscribe, you now? got the game up until the um, current expansion. That's what you have to buy. Everything else is included. Hmm. Okay. Well, when the next I'm expansion glad they changed rolls out. That. You effectively get the la uh, expansion before that one until you buy the new one. Oh, okay, so you no, just don't get. So it's basically you pay for early time. access now. <laughs> you, you pay for early access to the newest expansion. Is that how that works then? In a manner of speaking, you don't have to pay it. You get it when the next one comes out. You get the all of the previous ones. You just don't get. You don't get the current. It's similar how Destiny it. does and it. If you're okay with that, then it's oh, whatever. Yeah. yeah, that's that's yeah, perfectly fine. I, I, I love similar. that actually. Um, but yeah. I, I do know they used to be. Uh, well, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy is one that I believe still requires you to buy the game and pay monthly to use it. Yep. I think From you're talking about yeah. 14 and online. And yes. Yeah. I will never yeah, play that game sorry. because I I, I very much dislike that, that payment structure. Elder Scrolls. Oh boy, online. what is it? Yes, Ooh, I'll agree so with him. Good. That's one reason why I play. Way I'd rather play Skyrim. I'd rather play yeah. Skyrim than play Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, like for like, all I'm the also fine with games. games you buy the one expansion premium servers, but when it comes to ESO. Yeah, I'm... Oh. They added a lot of shit that you yeah, have to pay there, for. There's another payment structure that I'm fine with too. It's um, premium server access. You know, I don't care if you buy the game or if the game is free to, to download and use and costs monthly, but either way, premium server access, I am 100% totally fine with because you're actually paying for an additional service instead of yeah the same service. See, I'm yeah, not a fan of any of that. I'm not a fan yeah. of any of those services. Yeah. I'm not a fan of any of those pay-to-play type of services because of the fact that it, what it does is it creates uh, for the average, you know, the average Joe, let's say someone working at McDonald's, it creates a what's called a subscription fatigue. So imagine okay. you have Netflix, you have Hulu, you have Disney, you have but... uh, YouTube Premium, you have Discord payments, you have VRChat Plus, you ha now have yep. that to add on to it. You have all these yeah. different subscriptions, mm -hmm. and you have to manage all this stuff. Your paycheck's going to start to whittle down real fucking quick. And but, that, so I'm not that a fan be, of yeah. games doing so, I I am going to tell you why they do that, though. It's okay, a very, very just simple know I'm thing. Not a fan. They have server costs. Just know I'm not a fan. They have server costs. If a game sells a billion copies and then never sells another copy and doesn't have a subscription service, that game is going to Bro, disappear in all those a, billion copies that went out. Yes. These are triple A why companies. Do you think, they have billions why of do dollars. You think, why, yeah, they might have billions of dollars, but they will run out of that if no one is buying the game. They're no longer bringing money in. They're just shoving it out to keep those servers well, running, which what costs Apex and, sometimes do millions what a, a year. Do what Apex and Fortnite do, then just create a free service and then create free events that you can actually access and you actually have access to. And if you want to actually purchase any additional skins or any of that stuff, put that in the game.
I'm that, fine with the small see, microtransactions. I am also fine with that, but there's there's different levels of it. Some companies don't like that. Some people don't like that. Some people do whatever. There's a few different payment structures, a few different game structures and company structures that work out pretty well. And th their whole goal is to cover their costs every month and I'm make a little profit that, on top of that. I'm saying microtransactions are optional, but subscription services are mandatory. And, That's where I have the big you, issue. Got it? They're not mandatory unless you want to play that game or use yeah, that service. If you, want to play, if you want to play World of Warcraft with your friends and it's just like, hey, why aren't you on here playing World of Warcraft? I, I can't afford it this so, month. I'm sorry. You know, I had to put gas in my tank. Yeah, that's reasonable. That's, that's yeah. Anyway, again, they, they just have to cover their server costs and a subscription gives them a better idea of how much server resources they actually need to be paying for and keeps their costs as low as possible. Versus microtransactions, they don't necessarily know how much they're going to pull in and they don't necessarily know how many users are going to be on or likely be on at one time except for like prior statistics. That's the only way they tell that. So that the, the subscription service gives them a better estimate. Like even taking Netflix into account on that, Netflix has to upgrade their servers and add new servers based on subscriptions. They're not, they're gonna like downgrade things if there's not as many people using the service because it keeps their costs lower. Okay, so here's my solution to that whole thing. If you want to actually solve that problem, make it an, give do what most other services do and do an annual cost. Whereas, hey, you either pay ten bucks a month or you can give us 120 bucks right now and we're good. You're good for an entire year. I would prefer a system that. like oh, that almost, over a monthly subscription service because at literally that point, at every least one of those services lets you do that. Every one of them does lets you. I mean, yeah, I every one of them. Does that World of Warcraft VR have chat? an annual cost? Yeah, they have an annual subscription. Yeah, they do. They have an annual subscription. Yeah, all yeah. all of the yeah. services we're talking about. I and, believe and Netflix little, even has a tiny yearly, discount don't they? Okay. for it. I'd be okay and with that. Related to the cost, an there's a way to actually like if you know life the game, there's a way to actually just earn game time in game now. Hmm. Oh, if they're offering stuff so. like that, then yes, I'm all for. I'm all for like yeah. an annual pass, not a monthly pass, because monthly pass. It, Think about where we're at right now. Like, like Vampy was saying earlier. The same as an annual is just a one lump sum. There's no difference. Yeah. Yeah. They actually well, give you a discount there is for a the difference. annual, usually. If you're paying, at the end of the year, you're paying $120 for something that you could have just paid $99.99 for. You're saving at least 20 bucks. There is a, there is a big That's difference. what I'm saying. That the yeah. difference is you, but you can, if you don't pay out of pocket the whole lump sum, you still get the same service and you're paying a similar amount for it. I know, I'm so just saying the, the in difference this, is a discount for paying. I'm just saying in terms of saving once. money. That's what that's where my mind's at. Saving money. I mean I Not I won't pay for any of the, the, the monthly services like that. I I will and I do support VR chat with VRC plus. Uh, um I do support Discord with Discord Nitro. I pay for all those. I, I pay for those services. I pay for Amazon. Uh, Prime. But, like... Prime! Yeah, I, I pay for Amazon Prime. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Don't forget, chat. Well, I get free Twitch Prime, Prime. somehow. <laughs> oh, YouTube Premium. Yeah. Do you have YouTube Premium? Nope, I don't pay for that one. I don't pay YouTube. I, I, I do pay for, for so we can a, watch, um, an expanded um, so Google can... Drive. But that's like two dollars a month or twenty bucks a year. I bought the premium plan for one reason. So whenever my kids' shows are on, a fucking ad doesn't come on. Because <laughs> you do kids' shows ads. I, I, I did I the exact same, same reason that but... I bought. This blocker I've been using for that, I mean, but it's, I, it's I'm, I'm thinking about paying for it too. I have a Roku too. TV, so I can't install an ad blocker. If okay, I ever make a game or make a service, yeah. I'm going to Why likely you, use the Why payment plan of free for the basics, pay for premium. Because it just makes more sense that way for most cases.
<laughs> I think that I like sounds like a play. <laughs> I have like never paid a penny. Hold up. Hold up. You never paid a penny to that website. I'm not sure. I want to hear what Sobe was going to say. I want to hear what Sobe was going to say. I want to hear what Sobe was going to say. Uh, oh, I was just gonna say I I pay for YouTube Premium just because um whenever I'm driving in the car I I use YouTube Music no not YouTube Music but um yeah, that, just that's YouTube. the other reason I do it yeah yeah, yeah for I, me it's for work yeah I a lot of the songs on YouTube aren't I can't find on Spotify so I just said you wanna know what I'm not getting Spotify then I'm just gonna stay with YouTube. You can oh, just create Spotify. a playlist of your sure own. You have no ads. And best part is, is if Bethany you're using an iPhone or Android device, you can actually put it in sleep mode and it'll, it'll still keep oh. playing. That's what it's I do at work. Exactly. Got a question. Would you, uh, do you, do you use Spotify at all? I just borrow off my wife's account, but yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to you about something in a bit. After, after podcast. Remind me. Talk have, to you about Spotify. Spotify. Why do I have a feeling I, I know what Someone uses SoundCloud. Hey, SoundCloud's good, too. That I'm going to offer to you. I'm on SoundCloud. Hey, go to my, sound, go to my Enjoy, SoundCloud. Search circuitry on completely SoundCloud. Completely free. Search circuitry on SoundCloud. Everyone do that now if you have not done it before. I actually have songs on there that I wrote like 10 years ago. I just Ooh. never promote them. Yeah, and they're all original, written by me. <laughs> I used FL Studio 10 at the time. I feel like mm. we should just start That's how far some back it music goes. with Turtles I got DJing. <laughs> but no, I wanted to ask <laughs> oh, this Turtle, uh, just to, just Turtle to throw Cloud. this out there, what would you call your, if you were to create a social media app, what would you call it? Um, I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't, I would <laughs> never make a social media app because I, I just don't well, see the need for another said, one. You were just talking about having your own social media app, so I, I actually have a perfect I was, name I wasn't. for you. I, I have a perfect <laughs> name for you. I think shellshock.com would actually be a great uh, website. Shellshock's a game. Okay, someone write that down. It's a game, yes. Write down shellshock. No, shell 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 I, I am no, looking for another game. domain to buy, actually. Um, mm -hmm. So if you yeah, guys... Okay, let, let's talk about this for a second. Um, if you could have a something at something uh, email address, what would you like the at, do, the domain part to be? Uh, if you could, if you guys come up with one fucking good one and I can get it, I will give you all email addresses that you can use like that. that looms. What did he say? Amputated <laughs> at limbs. Limbs.com. Mine limbs. would be net, anything like that. Mine would be genital kick at AOL.com. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm talking I'm a custom domain, not one that already exists. Oh, uh, yeah, at General Kick. <laughs> For the fuck of it, you should see if the if you should see if BeyondPixels dot com is taken. It is. Oh yeah, you should. Damn. Wow. What about Beyond yeah, the I already checked that. With that. How about uh, how about just the original show spelling a fuck it? <laughs> fuck it dot com. I wonder. Fuck it, fuck it. At fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> Let me look it up. Fuckitbucket.com. Fuck That's actually right. Fuckitbucket. Fuck at fuckitbucket.com. Oh my. Oh, Titan just put uh, Circuitry's link in the chat. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, go listen to my songs. Let me know what you think. And by the way, they're all free for download. So if you want to use them for content, they're all copyright free. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna come and strike your shit down. Use them forever, please. My favorite is Digimojo, by the way. Mm. Oh my god. Can I add one thing? Please go to the name on gift credit. I, I think that's a nice thing. Let's give credit. <laughs> can you get fuckit.gov? Can... Wait, fuckit? Fuckit.org? Uh, I can't get gov. I, yeah, I can get fuckit.org. Just... You do it, the FBI it? will be at your fucking doorstep. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like 10 bucks a year. That's $10. <clears throat> ten... It's Oh my god, that is a cheap fucking... Yeah, I'm not going to say them out loud, but how much, 
How much do you pay for your other two domains? The actual cost is putting effort into the website. Um, See, I, am, I, already, I currently I'm own four already... domains, actually. Um, I own radicalmobile.org, triplesmc.org. Um, I have abort.support and nudes.support. <laughs> which, by the way, if someone wants a fucking email that ends in nudes.support or abort.support, I will fucking gladly set that shit up. Because that'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but Jesus. I pay, I think, $25, $30 a year for four domains right now. Fuck. Hmm. There you go. Hmm. What if you put... Like, I... Someday you got NASAadministrator.com. <laughs> um, NASA would probably <laughs> fucking say, sue me out say, of it. That would probably... Get... They'd probably shove them into I a think that would put you on a watch list, no, brother. They, no, they wouldn't. You <laughs> yeah. can own it. You, you can own it. Public domain. You, what are you, you can own for it, buying something? But, uh, no, but they can actually say, nah, we own that, and just take it from you. For and copyright. And that does they actually do have yes. yes. to the stars. There. Well, but it's, there was they a story the about infringement. A... And there's Maybe, already NASA there named a... the YouTube channels. So it's possible. They haven't got struck them down. I could get nasaadmin.org.com.net. I could get any of those. <laughs> yeah, you, you literally could. That'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> you can tell people, I used to work for NASA. I still the have the, my, my email connected to them. <laughs> you should do that. In the first that comes that would be heavily start. illegal. Internally, you should yeah, do that. I, and like, well, when you load up the website, you, you can't, you can't if, impersonate if, an officer. The They're belt. not officers. It's just your character standing on Mars. No. Whoops. Okay, no. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, what you need to do is email Nat, email Nat, official NASA, uh, w under the that email, and say SpaceX is better. Have a nice day. <laughs> oh <my> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, get all three and send one from each one. Okay, you know, I got I got another emails. thing here. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna look at the fuckit.org and possibly buy that one, but that's that's gonna be a fuck time if we have domains for uh, emails for that. That that'll be great. Um, I also want to look at getting some Beyond Pixels related one. Yeah, uh, that'll be probably a little more, but you know, anyway, so. Windows. Uh, we're all running Windows, obviously, because we're in VR or yeah. whatever. I, I know none of you are running Linux or Mac. Um, so, who here has Windows 11? Not yet. Hi. I'm on 10 what do you pull stabilizer? Isn't that the latest? And I'm, and I'm going to be pushing out so many yeah, you're users on to have it too soon. Oh, the fucking point at me. Yeah. So, uh, Windows Hundreds. 11 is actually pretty fucking stable now and did actually speed up my system in vr too when i updated i had to reinstall a few programs because i used some pretty weird shit because of work but that was it okay. um i was holding the fuck off on updating to windows 11 because of the issues it had with vr yeah at the, the, start. the same reason i am stability yeah. reasons go ahead and update mm -hmm. go ahead and update Updated. Right. It's All fucking great. Right. Now. I'll do it over the weekend. Yeah. Um, you m you might have to like reinstall Steam VR or something weird like that sometimes. But I'm I'm prepared to deal with that. Yeah, I had to reinstall all my wireless hesitate... stuff software because that got all broken. <laughs> I hesitate with, with with new Windows, no matter what it is. This is I mean, I'm so, in yeah. the IT right, business that's for a long like time. Yeah. Whatever you so, do, do not immediately update. Wait at least a month or so. Yeah, every time Microsoft that it comes up down below, it's Windows like, 10. new update. It, yeah. Microsoft is updating Windows 10 to do a lot of the same things that people are complaining about Windows 11 doing. So, there's... No downside anymore, really, at that point. Yeah, man, um, I, I'm, I get the emails, yeah, server wide stuff like that, like uh, like all the time, like like on like literally when I, when when I do like updates for like Windows, it's not just me; it's like 500 plus users all yeah. at once. So yeah. and it's yeah, like that, that uh, many variants of different softwares. Yeah, right now Windows 10 mm -hmm. is end of life in about a year and a half. Right. So, oh yeah, we, that's yeah. why I'm like, I'll update now, get it out of the way, and I'm actually glad I did because after working yeah. out the little kinks and certain things that broke, 
it's a better experience in the end. And hey, at so, least it's not Vista. Oh my so god, Vista is the best. I, I, oh I, I, I still love Vista. I still love Vista. Vista was my first OS. The, the second I updated on one of my old <laughs> laptops, I never saw that laptop again. You want to <laughs> see mint, like flashbacks of scarring just so, so many nights of on call work. Uh, <laughs> oh, and Turtle, let's Windows, go ahead and be honest. So, Turtle, let's be honest with you. Uh, when you say working out the kinks, you're always going to have a kink of some kind left behind. Thank and you, I'm not talking about it. Let's be real. There's I always have kinks. Out let's be real. Example. I will say, out of all We're the We're not talking about systems, kinks today. <laughs> oh, really now. Uh, uh, the topic. Oh, okay. Hey, I will die on yeah. this hill. 98 and 2000 had some of the best screensavers. Yes, oh, yes, but yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. Vista was my favorite because of the widgets, the desktop widgets. That was the only operating oh, system yeah. that did widgets right. Uh, I, I, I okay, so <laughs> let me, let me, let me, can I, let me, uh, like, this way. elaborate something here. So, I, from, so from Microsoft, my team got a 60 inch, two hand touch, uh, like LCD TV, whatever, for us to test it out before the platform came out. And we have, you know, put our stuff on it. We thought it was the coolest shit. We still, I mean, it, it, it is cool. It just right before what was that we were using before to what it would have brought. It is objectively cool. We noted a lot of problems. We noted a lot of problems that other teams noted. And on release day, none of them got touched. <laughs> Absolutely none of them got touched. But they went out of their way to showcase like I've never seen a company do it like that before, I mean, and you've seen some wild stuff from Apple before. But a sixty-inch giant two-hand touch, so we're just have this giant toy that we're just like putting our bodies on and just like rubbing left and right. And this is what we're doing for work, so we're just looking like fucking idiots. And, you know, I'm in, sorry, in, it, in, it just sounds like you're rubbing polos. something off. Yeah. It, it, I don't know how else to describe it. It's it's two hand touch and you're like playing or something. Like, you, it sounds like you're we're, we're doing this for in. work. Never mind. It sounds oh, like you sure about that. <laughs> so oh, I want to talk about the conversation was two hand touch three um, times. <laughs> you can't do a two hand touch. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, um, I've got another thing I want to I want to toss out here. <laughs> um, so for anyone watching Hopefully this at any toss. time today or in the future, once this is up on YouTube, and anyone here with us right now, <clears throat> if you want a game server of any sort. I host game servers for cheaper than anyone. Hit me up. I will give you a one month completely free. I actually out. do need to talk to you about that in a little bit. Mm -hmm. We still need to talk okay. about the Minecraft thing because we. Oh, turtle! I actually wanted to. I actually wanted to throw out a suggestion and an idea to you and see what you thought of this because this actually came to me uh, uh, right before the podcast started. I, I forgot about it. Sorry, we got a little bit tangled into politics and shit. But Brandon Herrera, Lucky twenty-three, show, never vote forget. for him. But uh, that being said, I was thinking like about you know talking about we always say you know leave a comment at the end of the video. What if we actually like read a few comments and you know like say if people want to ask us questions and actually you know if they want to or if, if they're curious about something circuitry that would require there actually being comments yeah there's no exactly comments. that would I've encourage them to comment if they want to actually they have to go to youtube subscribe and leave a comment people actually have to watch that would... circuitry yeah that would actually also um if we go back to the analytics of um one of the prior episodes, not the last episode, uh, not not last week, uh, three episodes ago. Uh, let me Boy, pull it up get on YouTube. Off the quick. Blinds. What the fuck? You gotta hold let me pull it up. Yeah, oh, because my cat's being a fucking one, moron. One of the episodes actually got uh, like almost forty views, and that was without me doing anything, uh, not posting it anywhere or anything like that. Um, no, don't. So give me one that. of the episodes did sort of boost up a little bit. Um, Something to help with getting more views on the um, YouTube side of things would be you guys all helping out and posting them out places. Uh, but it was the episode about V 
VR chat memes actually got the most views on YouTube out of any of them. That's cheating. We so were talking far, about memes. Uh, except yeah. for just VR chat in general and VTubers. The VTubers one's got 112 views now. That was episode one. Episode two had 42. Uh, that was VR chat. VR and on online relationships has 40. Um, and other than that, we've sat around 20, maybe. I mean, last uh, the VR chat memes bumped up to 38. Um, so we need to start kicking more shorts out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need um, I need help with that. <laughs> Start taking clips out of the no. fucking videos. I could probably it. help. Uh, the, there's a certain application out there Remember, that you can I use used to, to help hold the you title make for the shorts. amount of clips I made on your channel, Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, if you if like... anyone here um, has the time to go through watch the episodes after they're posted on YouTube and and take and make shorts out of them. Um, it's all done on YouTube in the app, mostly on your phone. Super simple. You just watch it. I'm pretty sure. I'm punch pretty a sure somebody clipped. I'm. I'm pretty sure somebody clipped me saying the whole Stevie Wonder Waldo bit. From I think one like of the three episodes. people did, myself included. It was. Yeah. So that thing definitely went around because I got messages oh, we about bad. that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read them. <laughs> Oh, I kind of want to know what these messages are now. But none, I, I, I guarantee I, I, you, none of them said, as a blind person, I'm like, you're not watching the show. You're listening to the show. <laughs> <laughs> There's still audio, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God, I don't even remember what you come said. Back to me. The, here's the thing. <laughs> that would make more sense if there were deaf people saying that. It's like, that's a deaf person. It's like, motherfucker, all you see is this. <laughs> Yeah, we put a. We should just have somebody <laughs> caption the video with all the words backwards. <laughs> God, I want to see that. <laughs> hey, you're like this shit, window. asshole. You can see it if you like it. It's what I used before. Yeah, I mean, um. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love the hearing impaired and I love the uh, visibly challenged. I guess that's what we call them nowadays. They're not deaf and blind. I'm just keep in mind, you're a and, and, and Soby is just physically challenged. <laughs> you're about to get a stump across the face. <laughs> no, no, I guarantee <laughs> I won't. He won't lay a... He won't lay a nub on me. <laughs> That's a challenge. That's a challenge right there. He might there. lay a hand on feel me, but not a nub. To take off his... hey, I can so, feel him so wanting to take off his VR that you the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're about to PayPal you like 50 bucks. Do it. <laughs> if you want me to, Soby, I want to see him next month. You know, Soby, if, if people pay you to beat me up, I will 100% accept it. And you better record it and okay. upload it to your channel so I can see it. Yeah, that would be funny. Oh my god. I'll beat him up so bad, I'll use his phone to record it. Bro, oh, that's I remember years okay, ago. So I don't, I don't know if you guys remember this, but Markiplier uploaded a video to his channel saying, Guys, I'm sorry, I couldn't upload any videos because I had no internet. So, as punishment, PewDiePie and Jacksepticeye both slapped the shit out of him. Like, you actually heard Oh, that, that was so long ago. Jesus. Yeah, was a, it was actually was like... Video. <laughs> he's like, say something mean to me. You didn't earn any of your subscribe. <laughs> 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 Wasn't that because oh, he was he was like so nice with his first slap and then Mark Plyer said no, that he, and he legit Yeah, he said don't oh, be a bitch PewDiePie. stop being a bitch and slap me. That's what he said. <laughs> he, he said that to PewDiePie. Oh, I'll be honest, dude. I would, oh, like, I would I love to get slapped by PewDiePie. <laughs> That's fucking great. I fucking love Oh Mark my Plyer. god. <laughs> getting slapped by PewDiePie. Yeah, I don't really watch any of the big YouTubers myself. I I just watch random small like science channels is what I go to. I like to learn <laughs> Science stuff, dude. I've been sticking to either Mad funny Lads is like watching from PewDiePie Count now. It's like you, you've seen like the, the the most interesting parts of his life, and I think he knows it too. It's like now it's just a guy. He's he's just a guy, and yeah. he's happy now. It, he's it's, a dad, and it's good. It's he's good not story. a guy. He's a yeah. dad now. You he's a kid? dad now. It's like oh yes, dude. Oh yeah. yes, Nile Red. Definitely Nile Red is awesome. Uh, I I've been mm -hmm. watching him for Got years. Dogs, kids, wife. 
He was money. Niall Red was fucking tiny when I started yeah, watching money. him. I think it was in his first. Um, yeah, that's true. Like makeshift. <laughs> King of Random used to be good. It it kind of went downhill um, at, at a certain point. That if you know, you know. Um, I don't know. Well, so there you go, kids. Uh, the, if you want, the, if you want the original creator um, passed away in a hang gliding accident. Uh, a few years back, uh, and the channel uh, sort of just pivoted to being aimed, being geared towards kids instead of general science and fun things. It's it's now wait, really that... kid aimed, um, and that's King of Random. So I, I kind of, of stopped watching that one. Was he the guy you said hang gliding accident? Is that how he died? I think it was a hang gliding yes. accident. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, was that the science guy? I'm, I'm pretty sure he was in PewDiePie's... No, that was 2019, wasn't it? When that happened. That might have been. Um, because I know that okay. uh, a science guy did pass... A science YouTuber did pass away in 2019. It was the same year Etika passed away. I, I, think, I think it, it was, was 2019. 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because so I know... I can uh, know a little bit of that story. Go on, sorry. Uh, PewDiePie, PewDiePie made a, a YouTube rewind of like all the people that passed away in the year 2019. I'm pretty sure now Avicii was the year before, and then um... wait, Avicii died. What? This is news to me. Yeah, yeah Avicii's been wait, dead you don't for like know? a couple years now. Jesus fuck. Mm -hmm. No, more than than that. Avicii's been dead Damn. for like six years. That's a couple in my book. Time moves wow. too quickly for me. A anyway, yeah, I think he uh... got Jesus. I can feel you there. Yeah, well, I guess we have a topic for next episode. We'll just talk about people. Avicii specifically. <laughs> wait, I, do, I really wait, don't want to do, do, do an episode do like that. I'm, I'm past, you know, people who have passed. No, 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 Turtle, don't. No, no, no. Let's not do that. No, let's not do that. I don't want to do that. No, no, no way we're doing that. Oh, my God. Oh. Now, if you said the EDM I'm joking, whole, I'm joking. Maybe. <laughs> but anyway, um, again, we're, we're I think I, I think um, we've talked about a lot of different things today. Just touched on little little things here and there. You know the Man, TikTok ban. On longer than it should have. I wouldn't talk about for some reason we got into that. Weekend. Hey, to be fair, last week's episode was an hour and twenty minutes. So I mean, we're not that far in. <laughs> We're closing in on yep. it now. It's eight twelve. Yeah, I know, but at the same time, stop being a little bitch. I've gone. I've done four hour podcasts. And oh, honestly, yeah. I'd be yeah, okay with that. But let's I know everybody has to thing. Let's do it. God, let's go. Go the mile. <laughs> well, it's what not my like, podcast. Turtle, it's how about if we reach episode one hundred? We go as long as we possibly can. Ooh. You know what? I, I am one hundred percent down for that. I, I mean, think 50, we I mean, we're on, we're on episode twenty five right now. I mean, I know, and I, I still mean, haven't gotten um, paid. You prick. <laughs> Eight hours. Yeah, where's our money? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting paid in exposure. <laughs> what are you talking about? You haven't you let me can, say my name since it. episode four. Yeah, yeah, because you were just like, fuck? nah, go to this guy. You didn't want to say your own stuff. <laughs> but no, you're actually say, streaming now. Now you're actually streaming, so you know, you'll, yeah, I, I will shill you. I, I will let you shill yourself. I still love you what yourself. YouTube did on my stream like this week. <laughs> <laughs> it's too funny. Okay, but I, I think I think we should probably round round it up, uh, for, wrap it up for the this episode here. Um, we've got some ideas for next week now. I'm really not sure what we're going to talk about, so let's talk about that for just a minute before we wrap up. What are we going to talk about next week? Dead people. Avatars. Toys. No. <laughs> wait. <laughs> no, wait. Uh, Special VR toys. toys. We could talk about Sims. Actually, 90s. VR Sims? How about you toys that we play with growing up? If you up? do that, I will unleash my wife on this podcast. Oh, yeah. That's that, actually... Oh, my God. Oh, yes. That woman <laughs> toys let's do a, play let's do a, growing up. Let's do a nostalgia episode where we actually yeah, talk nostalgia. about stuff that we actually grew up with, like cartoons, toys. Let's talk yeah, about, also, you know, stuff like that. I don't that. Yeah. That. I, I, I agree with The that. age range across this podcast is so fucking very, varied. I guarantee you, you're going to have some surprises in Hmm. Vampy, bring your dad. I'm Ooh, you baby. know what? Uh, how about this? <laughs> Friends. I, how, how about this? Friends. Friends 
over time, like trends from when you were a kid, trends now. Let's compare them. Oh, and by that, no. I mean like uh, yeah, I'm fine with wearing that. certain outfits back Just, in the '70s, but, wearing certain we, um, or wear, what they wear we are now. Going to start that episode with moon shoes, and you motherfuckers oh. cannot stop me. <laughs> no, that I, would I'm be running, a trend. I'm the khakis that you can fit a PlayStation Two in. What? We, non-compact we edition. Oh age. yes, yeah. Those those are like the the best pants to have. Not just the any giant trends. cargo pants. So, like, yeah. Okay, we're, we're going to talk about trends leg. next you could week. Fit three people in one okay. leg. So, oh <laughs> come up with a couple trends that you guys want to talk about for next week, and we will try to talk uh -huh. about as many different trends that have happened over the years. Whether it's an online trend or an in-person trend we're just going to talk about trends i would also like to man i can't wait to talk about the cinnamon challenge non-vr topic we've had so we've done it boys we've gone beyond nice. oh yeah we have the entire range of topics now oh i mean way, today we clicked. did talk about Online topics in general. So. Yeah, but we didn't talk about VR topics. topics. I mean, if you think uh, about yeah, the no, like from us, the avatars out there to the beyond Tossel's world, VR, I'm going to break I think that's there. the circle of this life. <laughs> like it, it's the circle of life. I don't know how the song goes. <laughs> it's the circle of life. <laughs> All I know oh, about that is that Simba gets cummed on at the end. What the what? fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, he gets cum. He gets the coconut cum. He gets the coconut cum at the end. He, he, he gets, gets the coconut cum. cum. Okay. This he very moment, cum. this is the moment. I, 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 I just clicked the the quick clip button. Don't worry about it. Brand, Brandon <laughs> Herrera, twenty three. Vote for him. Twenty twenty four. Brandon Herrera. Anyway, let's let's um. So uh, uh, you know, okay. Thank you for being here for episode twenty five. Um, what the fuck, circuitry? What the fuck? Is coming in. Um, th thank you all for being here. You guys have been here for pretty much every episode at this point. Um. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, Dude, this has been a weird fucking episode, next week we're talking about trends, um, this, this show is going off the fucking rails real fucking soon. <laughs> That's fine. No, we're just going beyond the What you're saying is, fuck it, shit show never forget. Actually, let's do a... Yeah. Turtle. Yeah. Let's do a, let's, yeah. Turtle, let's do a little experiment. We need a t-shirt of that. Let's ask fuck people... Fuck it, shit show never forget. What questions do they have for us in the comments? And then I will pump the shit... I will promote the shit out of this video. If you I'll send it... Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, that'll enough, be we can that would that. then be for two weeks next from now. Week. We'd be able to talk about that. Two weeks. All right, not next two week. weeks from Give now. We'll weeks, be yeah. two weeks from now. We'll be able to talk about it. So, hey, ask yep. your questions now, and in two weeks you'll get your answer. Yep. Yep. Go to the video. It'll be up in a week on YouTube. Um, go watch the prior episode. They're all on my YouTube, Turtle Little One. Um, you can always join the discord there's a link down below join give us topic ideas things like that in there too um maybe even join us on an episode if you have an interesting topic to talk about yourself um other than that um yeah i th think we're gonna do what we do at the end of every episode and let these guys shill themselves because they've been here helping us out talking about fun things so we'll start off with the green boy circuitry uh you can find me over YouTube, Twitch, Kick. Uh, I stream live on Rumble after Mother's Day this Sunday. You will actually see me go live on Rumble, and I'm very, very excited about it. Uh, I'm so glad TikTok's being kicked from the United States, by the way. And Sobe, since you are actually doing stuff, go ahead and show yourself. So, I like stream oh, randomly, my. but for the most part, it's Tuesdays, Thursdays, and on the weekend. Uh, you can find me on Soapy underscore fresh uh, 47 uh, at twitch.com, twitchtv.com, whatever it's called. I am currently <laughs> trying TV. to beat Dead Space 2 on the hardest difficulty, which only allows three saves. So, yeah, that kind of Wait, sucks. there's Anyways. limited saves on the hardest difficulty? Yes. 
For 16 chapters, they only allow three saves, and if you die, you go back to the previous save. Damn. Ah. Okay. Yes. Vampy, kill yourself. All right, you can find me on Twitch at Sir underscore Bloodworth. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not streaming at this point because I'm still trying to build my new PC. I still only have half of it right now. <laughs> yep. Not a fun time. Also, fun fact, Simba should be getting cucked because of the actual Lion Society. Believe it or not, his oh, uncle we'll that. is a preferred male over Simba. So he'd be getting cucked by his own uncle. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Okay. Interesting. Davion, <laughs> shill yourself with your deep All ass right. voice. Sure, why not? Well, I'll try to use the deepest. If you want to see this voice, I was actually on uh, Miss Double O Twenty Seven O YouTube channel uh, as the professor doing little voice acting. Uh, mind if I link the video in the chat? If you want to go, go check it. it out, you can go see me do my work. Here you go. I did such a great job, I put the main character to sleep. And then, <laughs> my boy, Stealth. Shill yourself. Y'all yeah. yeah. can find me at twitch.tv slash StealthTheFox. These days, because of how crazy my schedule's gotten, I can only stream on Mondays with him for Tabletop Mondays. I'm doing my best to get that ironed out. In the meantime, just check us out there and here. Also, Turtle, I just realized, how long is your ass had jiggle physics? What? The Since entire time. Let's see this. Let's see this. Let's see this. We need to see this now. What the yeah, fuck? There it is. What the it's fuck? It's also got colliders. It's minimal, but it's there. <laughs> yes, I yes it is. It, oh my and maybe fucking if God. you join a server, you can see it. I'll drop it in there so you can see the glorious <laughs> turtle cheeks in front of you. But, uh, <laughs> again, thank you all for being here. Um, talking about trends next week so get your trends post them in the ch in the uh channels on discord so we can remember them um we'll have a, a great episode talking about that so <laughs> um all right yeah th this has been a great episode i'm, I'm loving this stuff i still yeah. did not ever expect the podcast to continue to go on past a month because you have us. But <laughs> here, here we are in five months in. <laughs> hey, you're doing all right. Oh, just wait. Bye, I've chat. A whole, have whole a good night. Bye, bye, everybody. Keep your titties pretty. Yeah, it's too hot to wear clothes. Stay naked. <laughs> I don't want to do the opposite. I mean, I'm giving you advice. Stay naked for the government. <laughs> Don't make him ugly. I live with this man. <laughs> You're gonna think about you guys that tonight. Are crazy. I'm gonna keep my titties pretty. <laughs> no, I don't want to have spoiled nipples. It's too hot to wear clothes. Stay naked. Fucking Ow, my face. Turn on a t-shirt. Like, he's like Uncle Sam. Point at you. Yeah, it's I'm, too I'm, hot I'm, to wear clothes. Stay naked. Twitch is just being weird, so... <laughs> <Stay naked. laughs>